Hi there, my name is Don Bauer and in this video I'm going to show you some of the photos I've managed to take with my fisheye, my Nikon 10.5mm f2.8 fisheye lens. It's a very specialist lens and therefore it's not great for a whole bunch of uses but hopefully these photos will show you where it really comes into its own. First photo you see is actually the very first photo I ever took with the Nikon lens. It's actually in the Calumet photography shop where I actually bought the lens. As you can see, it's straight away you get this really cool warped look. Whenever I bought it, I bought it down in London and I walked around town and none of these photos have had any editing to them. This is just as they came out of the camera whenever I was taking the shots. There's a thing you can actually do with fisheye lens uh, images is you can do a thing called de-fish them. So it actually makes them a bit straighter, but doing that you, you lose a lot of the distance of it. The width of the image really. It's great for architecture, it's, uh, well not, not for accurate architecture, but for creative architecture image shots. For fun kind of urban landscapes is where the fisheye lens really kind of comes into its own. You get great perspective, which you wouldn't get with any other lens. You kind of sometimes have like a, a bird's eye view, or or maybe like a, if you put it on the ground, uh, ants eye view, as it were, um, of what the place would look like, and it really comes out quite cool. The next bit that looks quite cool is when you actually start taking it indoors. Here I was shooting inside a church. These are actually HDR photographs, high dynamic range photos, so I took about four or five raw photos, merged them together for the bright and dark tones. And uh, it's brilliant in cramped places like churches uh, where you can get wide shots and it gives just an another dramatic look to it. Also good for office photography, that's uh, inside an office, and inside houses. Again, it's not great for accurate shots, but if you are wanting just interesting, dynamic, creative shots, then the fisheye really works well. It's also an f2.8, so you've got it as a nice bright lens, and you can do, it's great for indoor photography, or in that one, taking a picture of a car. Um, because it's a cool look. And interiors of cars come out pretty well as well. Now what this lens really works well with is as a party lens. So using it for going out, playing with your friends, having drinks. Um, of course, the, the front of the lens is very easy to get water on or get damaged. But if you are fairly sober and you want to take it out, I would say this is probably the best lens for taking out uh, on a night out. Because um, you'll always get all your friends in the shot. If you give it to a random person, there's no chance that they're not going to be able to focus on you because it's such a small focusing distance. Um, you know, anything beyond 50 centimeters away, then you're going to get it in the image. So it shouldn't be a problem, or get it in focus. Family shots, again, it's quite cute getting shots of little kids um, with them in the foreground, makes them nice and big. Again, this was an indoor sporting event of a dart tournament. And uh, as you, there you can see the dart actually flying towards the dartboard. So that is me kind of tucked down underneath the dartboard, but you're able to still get images from the dartboard all the way to the other side of the bar um, of the, the whole place. So that's really quite cool, which nobody in their not, as you see, there's a guy there trying to take a photo with his own camera and wouldn't get anything like what we got with the fisheye. Again, ant's eye view comes in looking pretty cool. Portraits, probably not the best lens for that because of the distortion in it, but uh, certainly, again, it can have creative, fun ones. If you want to make someone look a wee bit odd or strange, then it's uh, it can definitely be a fun, interesting look that you can get. But as you can see, this lens is really with me being used whenever I've been quite drunk uh, and whenever my friends have been quite drunk and they've been able to pick up the camera and uh, take photos with it. Oh, one other place is sports. This is a great lens for sports photography because you can get really close to the action. Uh, unfortunately, you just haven't had that many chances to be out with the lens yet. Uh, but hopefully, I'll get some more photos in the future with the fisheye and, uh, and I'll get them on my website. So I hope you enjoyed that and hope that's given you a couple of ideas of the kind of photos you can get with the fisheye and where it's good. 
Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.